<sighs> yeah. Did it again. This is the way. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chapter Fit channel. My name is Britt. We make motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here on YouTube. So, as most of you already know, this guy here likes helmets. That's the understatement of the year. Probably a little bit more than he should. <laughs> I haven't even really introduced this helmet, the Atlas 3.0 Joker, to the channel yet. Yet here I am about to unbox another helmet. Now, the reason why I decided to kind of do this all at once is because this is also an Atlas 3.0. Now, just want to start off this video by saying I am not sponsored by Rock. I paid for these with my own hard-earned money. However, when you can find a good deal on one, it's kind of hard to pass it up. So some people will say that the Rock is not a good helmet, it's cheap, it's blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Well, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. I mean, I've had showies right there. I've had Bitwells, I've had Scorpion, I've had pretty much every kind of helmet out there. And at least for me, that's been working lately, has been the Rorok Atlas. Now, again, this is just me personally, everyone else is going to be different, they're going to have their own separate opinion. And hey, I can respect that. But today, I wanted to reveal what the Liquid Carbon looks like on this. So the Liquid Carbon is a non-graphic print from rock essentially it is their carbon fiber and then it's just simply got a clear coat on top of it so let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like all right so with the, your rock you get some accessories so you do always get a smoked visor with every single purchase so you're always going to get that i did go ahead and order a couple of extra visors this one looks to be the red one which we'll take out here can't really see it because it's got all this protective covering on there and then there's another one here which is most likely going to be the chrome visor I lied. This is the tinted one. That's the chrome one. <laughs> but you do get a nice little case to put your visors in when you're not using them. But now for the piece de resistance. Oh, well, before we get to that, you do also get Pinlock if you purchase under 25 bucks. Uh, that's probably one thing that uh, I do like about Showy is you do at least get one Pinlock insert when you buy them. Uh, these you do have to purchase separately. And for me who it's a heavy breather, likes to uh, fog up visors, it's kind of a necessity, so necessary evil. Um, but at least the good news is these visors run about 60, plus the pinlock is about 85. Uh, a shield from Shoei, for example, is going like run $100. So yeah, it ends up being about a wash in the long run. But now, let's go ahead and get to the carbon. Now, guys, I've had this helmet sitting in my garage for about three days now. I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting to share my reaction because I'm hoping it's as beautiful as I think it is. Oh, and one thing Rock also does is they tie this really, really good from the factory. All right, so here we go. It's opened. <laughs> <laughs> White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high, blue eyes, fake cry, beware of the fox tonight.
Oh, holy moly. This is incredible looking. Wow. 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 Guys, this, this carbon in here is just, the weave is so, so beautiful. Now, like I was expecting, there is a line that you can maybe see as it kind of goes all the way up and down there, which that's just them trying to line up the carbon. Um, I don't mind that one bit actually, but I mean, compared to that guy right there, it's more of a classic style helmet. And that's the reason why, you know, I've had the Joker 3.0 and I loved it and I loved it, loved it, loved it. But there's something weird about riding a motorcycle, like maybe like my Triumph, for example, with a Joker helmet on. It just doesn't quite work out right. Um, as far as like the reviews that I know about Atlas already, uh, basically, the, the liner is the new updated liners that they have uh, been getting in lately. So I'm ecstatic to see that. Um, you know, they're they're going to talk about like, well, you, you still don't get uh, the top vent clothes. I'm like, guys, you know what? I know that's a big deal for a lot of you, but for me, my head runs so hot anyway. It doesn't doesn't bother me. Um, I like having that extra air up there. Especially because with this one, I usually end up having to run a little bandana thing anyway for my ears because of the modification I did to the inside of that. So, you know, it ends up working out okay. I like getting that extra air. I just can't get over how gorgeous this thing is. I mean, <laughs> it's like one of those uh, optical illusions that we saw as kids. Like you would have to like stare really down deep inside of there to uh, see the picture. That's exactly what this feels like. <laughs> like, ooh, what am I going to see? Uh, I just see my ugly face. <laughs> now with my order, I did decide to go ahead and I purchased the Shockwave system. So just like the Joker in there, I did decide to go that route instead of my sending units. Mainly because I don't, I don't ride in groups a lot. So you know that about me. I really don't like talking to people a lot. So. Uh, the shockwave system works out really well for me. What I really like about it is I can still make phone calls. So if someone has a Senna and they can just make a phone call through their Senna, I can connect it on the shockwave. That's usually about as much as I need. But what's cool about it is, here's the communication unit. Really easy. It's, it's held in by two magnets. There's no screws like the 2.0 had. And then everything in here is pre-wired. So, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, your cording is not very long. So basically, it goes right where it has to go and it just plugs in. Really, really convenient, really easy. Uh, I would go ahead and install it now, but I am waiting on some new speaker pads. So you might be thinking, what, you have to modify it to get it to work? And you saw a couple videos ago when I actually did put the speaker pads inside my rock to make it quieter. That's all that I'm trying to do is just to make them a little quieter. Because yes, they are a little bit of a louder helmet, but they're not as loud as all helmets. Um, Bitwell, for example, is a very loud helmet. I even had a couple showies that uh, I no longer have because they were actually louder than my Atlas's were before the modification. So the padding does feel nice and soft on the inside. Let's just take a quick look at it, see how it goes on without any modifications done to it. Now again, I am a, got a 61, 62 centimeter head, so this is an extra large. Um, I was always scared to order an extra large, but I did that with the Joker and it worked out. So, wow. Especially if I get this strapped up. Like that with the fit lock. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I don't understand the problem with the complaints about these liners now. I mean, it's a little, Difficult to get off that does hurt a little bit, but all in all Really, I feel that's a comfortable helmet. The liner inside of there is this jersey mesh stuff, which To me feels a little bit more comfortable against the cheeks than say the showy which has like this kind of foamy feeling, but you know as far as 
Which one supports you better? Probably the Shoei, but which one feels better? Probably the Atlas. So, and again, I know these helmets are not for everybody, especially with the extreme graphics that some of them have. But for this one here, for example, it was their full carbon. And you cannot find another full carbon helmet of this quality for the price I paid it, which was like about 415, if I remember right. Look for the discounts, look for the deals. Um, you can find a brand new Rock core on their sales at Farm Occasion. They just had a Black Friday sale where you could get them for like 300 bucks. It's a steal of the deal to get into them. But that being said, I feel like I've rambled on enough already. Let me know what you think about the helmets. And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side because this is the way. Sharp Fett seeing ya. Later!